everybody, I'm Scott with Starkey Family Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and make sure that you got your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I put up my next video. Now today, I have a problem with my leveling valve on the rear end of my uh, truck. And the problem is, it leaks air really bad. So today, we're going to go ahead and change that thing out. So let's get this video rolling. Okay, so this is actually <clears throat> the leveling valve that the dealership gave me. And before we go any further, I want to show you guys the numbers on this. Just in case you need one for some reason. Like yours might be bad. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the brand they gave me, Barksdale. What this is, is a leveling valve. And this leveling valve actually controls the height of the rear suspension. Okay. Now, I bought this at the dealership and it was $70. So, for $70, let's see what we got. Leveling valve. Instructions. And a golf tee. No, actually, this ain't a golf tee, but you can actually could use it for one, I guess. It looks like one, don't it? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so basically what this does is one side of this is you're going to have, and I haven't looked at it yet to see which side's which, but I believe it's going to be up like this. I could be wrong on that, but anyways, the top side is going to bring air in which will inflate your bags the bottom valves will actually deflate your bags so basically you put the handle up and you gain air until you get to your height and then it shuts it off well if you need less air this handle goes down and releases air and lowers the back of your truck now what this is actually for is once you get this mounted, if your leveling valve, the linkage, if your linkage is actually adjustable, what you'll do is you'll put this peg in here. And you see this hole inside here? That's how you get your neutral position, okay? Which is not up, not down, just in the center. And depending on how your truck is set up, as you see, you have a position there position here and a position there so this leveling valve will spin all around okay so do not discard this and you can play golf with it later so let's go ahead and move on okay so you don't have to remove the tires to actually replace this but just because i'm making a video on this and it's gonna be hard to get in there to show you guys everything I will be removing the tires and the reason being is right back here underneath the fifth wheel plate let's see if I can get zoomed in on here that is where my leveling valve is isn't that nice that's beautiful isn't it so anyways I also believe it would be a lot easier to get in there without having to mess with uh, some tires. So if you're looking at the fifth wheel plate, it's like right here. So let me go ahead and get these tires off and we'll move on in there. Okay, so these two nuts right here, if no one's changed them out, are a 7 16 Okay, so they are broke free. One of them is. Okay, they broke free. So let me go grab a socket. Thank you. 
Okay, there's one. Almost, but it's kind of tight. There we go. Okay, so to actually mark the uh, air lines, I put blue tape on the right side if you're looking straight at it, and I put black on the left side on the top. And when I get down to the bottom, I will actually mark those also. That way I don't mix up which line goes where. Okay, again, I wanna make sure before you guys actually mess with this valve, make sure that all of your air is depleted out of your truck. You have to keep in mind, if there's no air pressure in this and you start pulling lines off, depending on where you're positioned at in this truck, the truck will start dropping on you because there will be nothing in the airbags. Okay, so I just wanna make that clear right off the bat. Okay, trying to get in there to actually take off these air lines. Actually a little bit rough in there because there's not a lot of room. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this small line first. Okay, there's that one. Hmm. Can't get bit in there very good. Okay, there's that one. Okay, there are those two top ones. I want to make sure that vinyl tape stays on there so they're marked. Okay, so what do we have left now? We've got one here on the bottom. Okay. And actually, the way they're positioned, it should be pretty hard to actually mix them up so that is good okay now this right here this is the linkage that comes up this right here has a rubber bushing in there so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of oil down in there and that's just cold compressed air from my uh, penetrating oil should be able to pull that right out. Should. It's almost out there. There we go. So we'll just leave that lay for now. Okay, so here's the new valve. Right here, here's the old valve. So basically what we're gonna do is it, it is the identical one. We need to take all these little swivel fittings off and install them onto the new valve. Now, these arms are actually backwards, but I did look, and it's actually not gonna make a difference. So we don't need to change these arms out or flip the arm over. Now this pin, I am gonna have to take it and put it over here. So there are a few little things on here we need to do. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, so first things are first.
Ugh, maybe. Gee whiz, that thing is in there tightly. Now you also have to keep in mind which direction these things are actually facing too. So keep in mind. Okay, there's now, one. As we take these out so nothing gets confused or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up. We got all those old nasties off there. And we're just going to simply put them back in the same place that we actually got them at. So this is going to go in there. Let me grab some thread tape. Okay, so that's up. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is this one here. So it'll be facing down. Yeah, we don't want that inside there. Let me clean that out real quick. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And by the way, these actually do not thread in very far at all. So next, we're going to do this one here. Clean that out.
Okay. So now we got to do this one right here. coming off there. I don't remember ever changing this. But it's not to say that I have it. Okay, so we got all these taken care of. Now, we just gotta get this free. Okay, this is a half inch. Oh, it's turning. Okay, tighten down on it a little bit more. Jeez, this thing is like beating on there. Not literally just like really tight. Gee whiz, that thing is on there. Let's try taking it off with a socket. Gee whiz. No reason for this to be like this.
Wow. If I wouldn't known it was going to be that rough to take off, I would just tuck this rod off from right here and just change out the rods. Wow. I don't know why it was that bad, but it was. Okay, so I got a different nut. This one here is a nylon lock nut. And I put some grease on the threads here, so maybe it'll go in a little bit easier. And this is a lock washer. We still have to have this. If I would have known, then I would have got one from the dealership. This seems to be working a lot better. Okay. So we have everything transferred over now so we are ready to go ahead and install it okay let's go ahead and put this valve on not a lot of room okay there's one airline There's two. Did I tell you there's not enough room in here? Okay, there's three, and here is four. Whew, that was not fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this in here. Okay, so I'm going to go put some anti-seize on here. Shouldn't have any problems just because of where I'm doing the uh, the nylon lock nuts. Should be fine.
Okay, so now what we need to do is hook this linkage up. You just pull it in. That's it. And it's actually on there. So we now have the air valve actually on there. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the tires back on real quick. Okay, so I got everything replaced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into the truck and start it up. Now keep in mind that all the air pressure has been depleted out of the system. So it will take a few minutes for it to build up air pressure before the airbags actually rise. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all learned something. I hope if you're happen to have the same problem, you will end up uh, doing it yourself and not go out to a garage and get ripped off and get, and get charged $150 plus an hour to do it. Now, I would tell you, I would go to a dealership on a part like this and get a good one. There are other stores that do sell these. Some are good, some are bad. But $70 for this valve, it's not bad at all for a leveling valve for your suspension. Um, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.